My hair color matches my lip color. All I did was fade it the normal way with dandruff shampoo and bonjour soap. I just washed it twice. The key here is to leave it in for as long as you can. So here's what my hair looked like before. Here's what it looked like when I left it in for 20 minutes with a plastic cap and a heating pad on it. And again, for 40 minutes with the same process. I could have left it on longer, but I had a busy schedule this week. I wanted to wait until after Thanksgiving to start fading it because I had a feeling that this would happen. Ooh. The reason I think it's this dark gray here is because I had the blue underneath of it and the brown is just faded. So we're left with like this dull brown, almost gray color. I hate it. I hate it. So I could wash it again for a third time, but I think what I have left, I'm gonna use Color Oops because I know that Color Oops removes red pigments very, very well, but they don't remove blue pigments very well. And later on in the video, we're gonna be testing out some new products. I have seen these at the store many, many times, the Heritage line, but I have never tried it. So we're gonna test these out as well. I cut the tip off in another room where I had scissors and that tip went flying. I have no clue where it went. One thing I always forget to do when I'm doing Color Oops is you switch this cap out for the flat cap when you mix them because otherwise it will explode everywhere. Oh. What is wrong with me? I don't know. I don't know. Screw that flat cap on. Shake, shake, shake. Ha, ha. Shake, shake, shake. Ha, ha. And you want to slowly open that so it doesn't explode. Put this back on. Let's just start at the roots like this. And get oh, it's in my face. Just scrubbing it into my scalp. Then I'll run my fingers through it and run it down to those ends. I'm hoping this color oops doesn't do anything to the blue underneath, but it's looking like it might actually be turning it green. Ay ay ay. My luck with color oops. Put this cap on. And I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Hey, so my hair turned green. I'll work with what I got and then maybe I'll even fade this a little bit more before we start our next color. I went ahead and just dried my hair that way you guys can see what it looks like before I went go and put the heritage on. And you can see my ends are in need of some moisture. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now I'm going to wet it back down. So I chose these personally based off of what I think my hair needs but they have plenty of other selections. I would definitely go check them out, but I'm not gonna recommend it until I try it. The apple cider vinegar rinse is my first step. An apple a day keeps the bad hair days at bay. This gentle tonic leaves your hair soft and shiny and gently cleanses your scalp and conditions your hair without stripping away natural oils essential to your hair's health. Perfect for all hair types. So it says after shampooing, separate hair into sections and apply to scalp and massage. Don't fret, this product isn't gonna sud like shampoo. It says to leave in for three to five minutes and then rinse thoroughly. No offense, but it kind of smells like an older lady's perfume. It says the section, but I'm just applying it like I did the color oops, just squeezing it all over my scalp. I didn't give you any like measurements on how much to put on it. Sulfate free, fill up, P H T H A L A T E. Paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, vegan. I'm gonna go rinse this out really quick. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that apple cider vinegar rinse. Now we're gonna slap on this masquerade. Okay, I just opened it and there's no seal on it. It looks like there was a seal up here, but I think they could do. A better job at sealing that. That reminds me also when I was carrying this around Walmart, I didn't realize it at the time, but it was leaking. And I was wondering where that smell was because I was moving around the store and that smell was staying with me the entire time. But now it makes sense. It barely has a smell. Work a small amount of product into hands, apply thoroughly, and comb to distribute. We're gonna start with, ooh. Oh my gosh, guys, I will have to show you a better consistency of this later, but it's so thick. It's like sticking your finger in coconut oil. It is so thick. I've never seen a hair mask that thick. I have high hopes for this one then. If it's that thick, it should be that moisturizing, right? It's like glue almost like hair gel it's literally so thick that i can't even 
run my fingers through it. I don't know how I'm supposed to get a comb through. I'm definitely using a wide tooth comb for this, not a fine tooth one. Otherwise I would rip out all of my hair. My hair is literally like glued down. Glued down. <laughs> Try and lay it as flat as I can. Put a cap on it. Right, let's see how this is gonna work. I like my eyes are better. Can you tell that I have plastic under it? You absolutely can. But you know what? Fuck it. I'll be back after work. All right, I'm back. And I cannot tell you how many times I got asked today, why is there a plastic cap on your head? Because my hair is unhealthy and it needs all the moisture it can get. Rereading the back of it, it says the key is to restoring and rejuvenating dehydrated and damaged hair. Visibly improves your hair's texture and shine. Locks in long lasting moisture, hides split ends and fights frizz. As far as the frizz, I think it did a pretty decent job with taming it it definitely does look a lot smoother, but down here, it doesn't look like it visibly helped the texture of my hair. Down here, listen. It still feels pretty dry to me. I'm not too impressed with this line, to be honest. I'm really not seeing a whole much of a difference, so I can't really recommend it yet. And, and I honestly really hate the smell. Like, I smelled... Oh. I had this on all day while I worked and I smelled like an old lady all day. I'm sorry, it just stunk. So me anyways, that's a personal opinion. Of course, you might have a different. I'm going to dampen my hair again. I honestly might do another Dawn and anti-dandruff shampoo treatment. We'll call it that because I'm going to leave it on for 8 hours and process it with heat. I think that is the best way to remove color without damage. If you haven't seen that video, you should really, really go check it out because I want to stress that the vitamin C treatment does work a little bit better, but not enough to go spend your money on it. Towel dry, damp, same thing. Hopefully, if not, all well. Now we're gonna put on this Split End Rescue. This unique gel cream formula replenishes moisture and helps smooth split frazzled ends for a fresh cut look. Use ends soft with a silky smooth finish. We apply our product to clean, damp hair from mid shafts to ends. Do not rinse out. Style hair as usual. Made with Jojoba, Jojoba, Jojoba protein, Endowise extract, Garnia flower, and Bob, Babazu oil. I probably botched every single one of those, but I tried. This one is actually a little bit strange. I thought it was just like a flip cap or one that you twist off, but it looks like you just pop it open like that. Look, it's so watery. It is not cream or gel. It kind of smells like the Radkin Extreme Bleach Recovery Leave-In Treatment. This is supposed to help with split ends, apparently. I want to grow up my hair. So back, back to where I started when I first started YouTube, it was like down to here, like the longest I had ever had my hair. I'm going to let this air dry, no heat, nothing else. Okay, that split end rescue definitely did the trick. Look at this shine, guys. Look at how shiny it is. Definitely feel like that smooths out those ends and you can really see how flat it got all of my ends like there's no like fraying at the bottom it doesn't look like it's really damaged now I didn't see a big difference whatsoever after using the apple cider vinegar rinse but it did say that it was supposed to help clean your scalp and I definitely felt that but it didn't make my hair shiny or soft like it said it was supposed to so this one, I think I'll pass on recommending. Six hours I kept this masquerade on and I felt barely any moisture after I rinsed it out. So I'm very disappointed in this one. They can do better on this for sure. The Split End Rescue, it's okay, but I still think my top favorite hair care brand is the Redken Extreme Bleach Recovery line. That is like a lifesaver for my hair. I kind of like the way it faded because I have like these two yellow pieces underneath here and it just kind of gives it like a pop of color. Now I have no clue exactly what I'm gonna do for my winter slash Christmas hair color. I guess we'll figure that out in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to keep your heads up and have a great day. I'm like, oh shit.